In the last video, we had a look at client-side authentication with the use session hook. In this video, let's learn how to secure pages client-side. For our example, we're going to make use of the dashboard page. At the moment, even if a user is not logged in, they're allowed to view the dashboard page. Let's fix that. Let's ensure that only logged in users can view the dashboard page content and if they're not logged in, we redirect them to the login page. Let's head back to VS Code and understand how to secure this dashboard page. In the previous video, we learned about the use session hook, which gives us access to the session in a React component. That is a good starting point. So open dashboard.js and here let's get hold of the session. So at the top, import use session from next auth slash client and within the component, we get back session and loading from the use session hook. Let's also log the values to the console. Before we proceed further, I want to show what is logged in the console as it is really important. So head to the browser, clear the console and navigate to the dashboard route. You can see here that loading is true and that is pretty much it. Loading will never become false and the session value remains undefined. Now, to be honest, I'm not sure if this is the intended behavior with the use session hook, but as it stands, we cannot make use of this to secure our page client side. Well then, what is the solution? Well, luckily for us, the next auth package provides a get session function, which we can use for our scenario. So back in VS Code, instead of use session, import get session from next auth slash client. The function returns a promise with a session object or null if no session exists. Unlike the use session hook though, we need to maintain our own loading state coupled with the use effect hook to call the get session function on page load. So at the top, import use state and use effect from react and then within the component maintain a loading state let's call it loading the setter function is set loading and the initial value is true next let's define the effect so use effect accepts a function as its argument and also a dependency array we will leave it empty as we want the effect to run only once on page load. Now within the arrow function, we define our logic to secure this page. So const secure page is going to be equal to an async function. Within the function, we call get session. This returns a promise, so we await it and assign the value to a constant called session. The session will be null if the user is not logged in. So we check if there is no session and if that is the case, we need to prompt the user to sign in. So at the top, we are also going to import sign in from next auth slash client and call it within the if block. If the user is logged in, however, so else, we simply set loading to false. Let's also call this secure page function. The last bit is to render a loading screen while we figure out if the user is logged in or not. So if loading return an h2 tag with the text loading. Of course, you might want to display a better loading screen but this text will be sufficient for our understanding. Let's now save the file and test it out. 
currently we are logged out. So if I click on the dashboard button, we are automatically redirected to the sign in page. I sign in and now we are redirected back to the dashboard page. If I sign out, we are taken to the login screen again and we no longer have access to the dashboard. So this is pretty much how you secure pages client side using the get session function. Like I mentioned, get session either returns the session object or null if the user is not logged in. We can make use of this function with state and effect hooks to check if the user is logged in or not on page load and redirect appropriately. Now you might ask, what if we just hide this dashboard button like how we hide the sign out button if the user is not logged in? We can do that and we probably should do that. But then a user can manually enter localhost port 3000 slash dashboard and still be able to view the dashboard content. That is something we do not want and hence the page itself needs to be secured and not just the link to the page in navbar. However, as a homework, I would suggest you hide this dashboard link if the user is not signed in. Alright, thank you all for watching and I'll see you in the next video.